whenever any visitors come to the gardens, I'd like to address them personally. How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you. How do you do? Nice to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Good morning. 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 I'm just waiting for my wife, and then I can make a start. Oh, these women, they, they do make us wait. Mm. <laughs> oh, she made me wait on our wedding day, 1907. Oh, bride's prerogative and all that. On her way to the church, the horse pulling the carriage through a shoe had to wait for the farrier. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd uh, better make a start on my own. <clears throat> well, I'm an army man, punctual to a tea. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Delighted you could all make it. We're all here today to celebrate the long and rich life of the gardens. You know, who would have thought that they had lasted this long? <laughs> Actually, I did. <laughs> no, 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 it is quite, quite fantastic that uh, my crazy idea has lasted. <laughs> uh, where is my wife? Oh, she's bound to be flapping around somewhere. <laughs> Been married to me for long enough to get used to making public appearances. But still, she flaps. <laughs> ah! So sorry. I am so sorry no, no, I'm no, late. No, quite all right, quite all right, my darling. Sit, Teddy. Now take a deep breath. In and out. In. Welcome, one and all. We really are so delighted you've come to witness our little story. And to toast our little garden. My little garden. Oh, quite right, my darling. <laughs> Your little garden. Well, these gardens would never have existed if I hadn't become so ill. And the dog so bored. <laughs> In my fifties, when we lived at Eld's Gores, which is the large house over there, I was stricken down with Parkinson's disease. Now, the doctor advised gentle exercise. All I could do at the time to follow his advice was to uh, walk around the lawn. <sighs> Again. And. Again. And again! Not even the dog wanted to come with me! I looked at the dog. And the dog looked at me. Now we both agreed there has to be some other way. Well then the idea hit me. And that idea like a light bulb was worth fighting for. And still lights up the world with its brilliance. A garden! A garden! Oh, why not create a garden out of that barren piece of quarry that's next door? I acted that very evening, 1939. Had to be there for my wife. Oh, she had always been there for me. So come, join us inside our magical garden. 
spend time with us first separately. And then later on together again. <laughs> and for those of you who have unluckily chosen me, I'll tell you more about the gardens. Those of you who have chosen to spend time with me, I'll share some of my family secrets. And then, reunited, learn how we first met. Of our courtship and our fate. All the while delighting in Dorothy's garden, which I always intended to be enjoyed by all for the rest and recreation of villagers in perpetuity. So please do come, follow me. And you are all most welcome. Oh, See you later, Dolly. I'll do my best to go much slowly. Good morning. So we'll have a nice display of geraniums here. Not to be confused with pelargoniums. Oh, from this point, you get quite a grand view of all the shrubs and plants in the quarry below us. So you can get a, a good idea of the layout of the quarry. Well, the gardens as they now are. We also have an abundance of bird life. Well, we have thrush, uh, robin, uh, all the cold tits, the blue tits, the great tits, long-tailed tits, thrushes, uh, the occasional magpie, wood pigeon. The last few red campion. <laughs> Lovely little flower. Have some grand views of the fields from here. We do have a few wrens nesting round here. Little troglodytes, troglodytes. We'll just go through this little archway, then we can take our rest. Over 150 years ago, well, this was a gravel pit. So the sandstone rock made getting it unprofitable, leaving great mounds of gravel screenings, ending up in three directions in a sheer rock face. Well, by the time I got to it, the pit was an impregnable wood. Your nature had taken over. Your brambles, scotch fir, larch, Birch, oak trees, all twisted together in a formidable mass. Into this I went. And there and then that evening marked out the first 20 yards of path, which my man, John Moore, always ready and willing to do a new job, skimmed off the next day. For 12 months we hacked and sawed and brushed and burnt our way through and around the wood until half a mile of easy walks lay there. Gradually, this woodland garden was born. For more, planted magnolias, uh, flowering cherries, lilies, over a hundred kinds of rhododendrons, oh, such as um, blue diamond, a rich lavender blue flower, Lady Bespera, a delicate pale yellow, Old Port, a rich plum colour, to name but a few. We filled the wood with riotous colour and scent. I told more where to plant them, and then I labelled each individual plant with my own hands. I greatly enjoyed it, and it was truly delightful to see Dorothy spend so many happy hours here. She would be equally delighted to know that the garden remains and that it has given such pleasure and peace to thousands of others. I am so touched that you want to know a little more about me. I, well, I usually shy away from opening up about myself at parties, uh, preferring a, a more supportive role. A wife and a mother, that's me, but, uh, oh, <laughs> here I am, leading role. I, I was born near Birmingham, but I grew up in Somerset. Uh, I, <laughs> I never really knew my father. Um, he died when I was two. But he left us very well provided for, which was very lucky because there were 13 of us. Oh, I know. Well, I was the youngest, 22 years younger than my eldest brother, Charles. Oh, my mother, she was formidable. She had me when she was 47. I know. 
and she lived until she was 81. I died when I was 59, but I lived my life to the full, which is more than I can say for my brother George. Now, George was only five years on this planet before he choked to death on a farthing before I was born. A farthing! Well, it still shocks me to think of it. I would have died of grief if that being one of my three. Luckily, they all lived into their 80s, way beyond me. But I don't mind, not in the slightest, because I loved them all dearly. A mother and a wife, first and foremost. They were always assured of a sympathetic ear and sound counsel if they came to me with any troubles, whether it would be a disastrous love affair, birth, death or war. My motto for any trouble was, let us have a glass of sherry and stop worrying. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed life. I understood that this moment right in front of us was it to be enjoyed fully and not frittered away with pointless worrying. Oh, I learnt this from the immediacy of war and for my love of driving <laughs> fast. I am very proud to be known as one of the earliest lady motor vehicle drivers. And I was also known to test my cars to the limits. <laughs> oh, we were all individuals in my family, myself included. Hardly any married. Five were artists. My brother, Archie, well, he was a famous Shakespearean actor. His portrait as Hamlet still hangs in that Stratford theatre to this day. Oh, I too am an artist. Oh, yes. I could replay any musical tune note for note on the piano and I never had any lessons. Would you like to hear me sing one of my favourite tunes? I'm very glad you said that. Well, I have warmed you all so much. I think I feel brave enough to try. Here goes. <clears throat> Well, hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. It's so nice to see you back where you belong. You're looking swell, Dolly. I can tell, Dolly. You're still going, you're still growing, you're still going strong. We feel the room swaying when the band's playing one of your old favorite songs from way back when. So take her rap, fellas, find her an empty lap, fellas. Dolly ain't never gone away again. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, well, our private meeting is over. Oh, I think I hear my husband calling on the breeze. Please, let's go and find him. Follow me to the quarry. I'm always late. Oh, do come this way. How lovely to see you. Come along. I take your time. Don't rush, he is quite used to be being late. One of our yew trees. <clears throat> Poisonous, leaf, bark, root, everything. Except part of the berry. The red part of the berry is not poisonous, but the stone inside is, so please do not eat them. They're also known as the walking tree. Because they're such a slow growing plant, as they grow, the branches tend to split away from the main bowl of the tree. And over a number of years, it looks as if it's actually walked away. Amazing. We have a fine beech tree along here. Oh, look, we just see the remains of a nice magnolia or rhododendron. My eyesight's getting worse. Dolly! Harry! Ah! Dolly! Harry, we're on our way! 
way. I'll meet you at the waterfall. I'm almost there, but I can't see you, Harry. Well, I'm at the waterfall. Where are you? I'm at the waterfall. Oh, well, I'm here. Dolly! I'm at the bottom of the waterfall, Harry. You just wait here a moment, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see if I can find Dolly. Dolly! Harry! Hello, Dolly! Harry! <laughs> I'm at the bottom of the waterfall! <laughs> well, hello, Dolly! Well, hello, Harry! It's so nice to see you back where you belong. <laughs> You're looking so well, Dolly. I can tell, Dolly. You're still glowing. You're still growing. You're still going strong. <laughs> uh, oh, Dolly, do come up here, my love. We will. Come up That's here. That's a good idea. Come along, everyone. Let's go and find him. Oh dear, I fear I might be slightly late again. <sighs> Always late. I do try to be on time. I just don't know what happens. I do get so distracted with some beautiful things. Oh, he'll wait for me. I'm sure he will. Come along, everyone, this way. Oh, our stag, by the way, was uh, donated from, well, made from donations by the Friends of the Garden to mark our 50th anniversary. He's a magnificent creature, isn't he? Dolly! <laughs> oh, wonderful acers. Wonderful, wonderful plants. <laughs> there are quite a few in the garden, acers. Uh, Japanese in origin, but very close to our English maple. But come the autumn, oh, the colours. Ooh, unbelievable reds, ochres. Oranges, mm, flame, wonderful, wonderful colours. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. Mm. <laughs> Look at all these lovely people. Good afternoon, everyone. I have never seen so many people in our garden. It is wonderful. It, it is, is wonderful. absolutely wonderful. Please, my group, we're going to go ahead a little while and we might find another seat. Come this way. And the view as you come round this corner is simply stunning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we met. Oh, oh. Damn and blast! Oh. Stay. Oh, oh, I say, excuse me, oh, could you help? Uh, I have a puncture and I'm miles away from my hotel. Oh, certainly I can. I live near here. Are you on holiday? Oh, oh yes. Oh, the name's Harry. Harry Clive. Crikey. That's a coincidence. <sighs> Phil. Phil. Clive, we <laughs> have the same surname. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure to meet you, Phil oh. Clive. <laughs> you must absolutely come for tea at Wooten Grange. Come I'd along. be delighted. Thank you so come much. Along, uh, along. Oh, oh, um. ah, better. <laughs> tea. Oh, thank you. <sighs> mm, good tea. Oh, Harry, mm? let me introduce you to my baby sis, Dolly. How do you do? Oh, charmed, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, um, um. I hear you play county golf. My sister Hilda plays for Staffordshire. I've met her, I'm sure of it. Well, you must come to tea next time there's a match. I'd be delighted. Oh. Um. Oh. La, 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 la. 
Um, oh. <laughs> so sorry. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? But thou art more lovely and more temperate. Thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when to eternal lines in time thou goest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and, and this, this gives, gives life, life to, to thee. thee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One stupid piece of rust in your hair. Oh, sorry. Harry? Veil? No, Harry, give me the veil. Give me the veil back. I need no, Harry, I need the veil. Thank you. 
1908. Our firstborn, <laughs> Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> Hello, oh. my darling. <laughs> oh. oh, she's got your nose. It's <laughs> a <laughs> so good job she doesn't have your hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well done, my love. <laughs> oh, she's perfect, isn't she? She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she's beautiful. Just like her mum. <laughs> you go to your daddy. Come to daddy. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Look, Dorothy. You have a baby sister. <laughs> <gasps> she loves you. <laughs> Phyllis. 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 Your baby sister, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. <laughs> We're very lucky to have two very oh. quiet children. Phyllis, you stay with Mummy. That's it, good girl. Daddy won't be long. Nineteen nineteen. Our first boy. Harry. Harry. <laughs> look, girls. Look, look, You've got mom's. a brother. <laughs> oh. Come along. Come along, walk nicely now. Oh, this calls for a family photo. What a splendid idea. By the tree, perhaps. Perfect. <laughs> Come along, girls. Now, no fidgeting, Steady remember? Girls, ready. No Go fidgeting. Look at the camera. Smile. Watch the birdie. Say, cheese. <laughs> 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 well Lovely. done, well good done. girls, good girls. Well done. Off we go now. There we go. Oh, not a bad likeness. So smart. Hmm. I do say you suit a uniform. Oh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look gorgeous in there. Oh, so do all the babes. Oh, wonderful. Up Thank so you, my darling. <laughs> oh, do please uh, follow on. You have done wonders with this garden, yeah. Harry. You really have. Shame we didn't get any edible cherries. Ah, but now, do you remember what happened last year? You oh, ate far yes, too many. Far too many. Mm, <laughs> not good for me. Really isn't. You couldn't control it. They were so sweet, I remember, weren't they? They were delicious. Oh, Beautiful. I can't remember where we bought them. No, indeed not. Mm -hmm. I do love this tree. I love the bark. I love the leaves. 1937 is our 30th wedding anniversary. Dolly. Harry, are those for me? It is my Oh, own. they're perfect. <laughs> oh, thank what? you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, have you seen? Aren't they beautiful? Oh, Harry, I may never take them off again. <laughs> thank you so much. They're perfect. Every cent of them. Thank you. <laughs> so lucky. Oh, oh shall we uh, promenade? <laughs> <coughs> you, you all right, Dolly? I'm fine. Please just do carry on. I'll just catch my breath. You sure you're all right? I'm fine. Maybe it's the heat, Harry. Oh, we'll wait, wait, rest here a little while, eh? Hmm? Yes. I'm quite well, Harry, don't worry. <sighs> Wait a little longer before we move. Yes? Just a moment, mm -hmm. just a moment. Harry? Yes? D Dolly? Dolly? It's fine. Let's, let's go a little further. <sighs> Dolly? Oh God. Use my cane. I'm quite well, Harry. I'm quite well. Oh, so beautiful. It is, isn't it? Corners, dogwood. Uh, can't remember its name. Um, Dolly. Dolly.
<laughs> April 24th, 1947. Dolly died five years ago today. The violets on bank near greenhouse are coming into bloom. So timely. Violets were Dorothy's favourite flower. I planted them for her right at the start. Well, there's something about their petite, delicate frame that reminds me of her fluttering in the wind. I lived on for 20 years after Dorothy passed. I threw myself into tending to the garden. My man, Moore, became like a son to me. He looked after the garden while I was away. I'd reenact to Moore, but uh, he was such a frail little man. Well, I'm rather robust and characterful. Well, it would be just impossible. Well, here's a, a postcard I sent him from Switzerland. I'd got wind that he was concerned about being looked after in his retirement. I wrote, Don't worry more. I look after you and your wife in your old age. Which, of course, I did. Actually, he outlived me. <laughs> Amusing, really, as he was such a frail little man. When I died, my ashes were scattered with Dorothy's down that path. I didn't let the gardens die with me. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the saying, the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit? Well, here you are. Late again, my darling. This time, I am the one who's been waiting. If you take nothing else from me, remember this, that this moment right in front of you is it. I've just seen the story of Harry and Dolly and it was a love story about how Harry made the garden for Dolly, especially when she was ill with Parkinson's. It goes through their meeting, their marriage, the birth of their children and sadly their deaths. I thought it was very moving, it was very delightful to put in parts with um, Dolly singing. Very emotional, it made you laugh, it made me cry in one or two places. Tears of happiness in some parts, like the part where they were dancing and getting into the car and how they first met. And at the end, I was just beside myself walking back and you felt as though you were at the wake when they went off to heaven. It was just stunning. I really liked the idea that we went around the gardens and they, they showed us the different areas, which I think it's lovely doing things on a location because get into uh, taking the surroundings as well. It really makes you stop and look around and take in what's happening. Well, you felt as if you were back in time with them, enjoying it. And um, I've, I've heard about the history of the garden, but it's brought it to life. I think the, the planting after she died was quite an interesting. You know, the garden just didn't die there. It went on, and after his death, it went on as well. I think that's you know, a nice thing for life, really, isn't it? It's, it gives it a proper, a, a lovely context when you're walking around, and then you realise that this was created with love like a lot of things are aren't they let's face it so it's so nice to know that what's the phrase if you learn anything from this this is it which is what she kept saying and i think that's absolutely true for life and also the garden and everything else yeah